It is August 2nd, some four months since Kent State closed its 2012 spring practice campaign. A perfect blend of veterans and newcomers invade McDowell Hall just 24 hours before the start of camp. Hey, you're on fourth floor. Yo! Yeah. This is kind of shady though. It's a little damn. Coming from the Queen. Gotta make it cold in here. I like it to be cold, you know? I like it to be cold. Man. Look at it. Put this on camera. <laughs> I'm about to blow this. Dorm life. <laughs> I'm telling you, you really can't block it. That sounds all quick. I'll fix it tonight. I'll dog plays louder than that. What do you need to fix it? These flashes have not met as a group since they took the final snap in the drizzle during April's spring game. That is about to change. Close your books. Welcome back. I know our coaches are extremely excited to get started with you guys. We, we know about this group now. It's going to be a special, special year for us. Very special. A lot of great things are going to happen to this group. A great job. It's a short period of time between now and four weeks from now. We've got a lot of things to do as a group, and we have to live in the now. We have to do that. I don't know, I threw them in there. I know, you probably did. Oh, large. I can't get My main responsibility to the team is to make sure that uh, every athlete, every coach is pretty much laid out and all their athletic equipment from head to toe. Uh, as far as the players, making sure everything is customized with the helmet, shoulder pads, shoes, every piece of garment that they have. Uh, they have it every day for practice, they have it every day for games or every game that we have. Uh, same with the coaches, making sure every game, every practice that they are participating in, that they have all that gear prepared, ready to go. And so whether it's home or away, you know, particularly when we're away, we uh, pack up a ton of trunks like this one here and you know, a ton of other stuff that we take on the road and make sure all that stuff is laid out, prepared and ready to go for them. Uh, and then we also just make sure everything is clean. And, and uh, so it's a lot of stuff in between there. When I say prepared and ready to go, uh, you know, obviously things are going to get damaged, things are going to need to be replaced. So we have to make sure everything is kind of in stock, ready to go each time uh, that someone needs. Checking in, put it on the shelf, uh, and just again, just make sure that it's all prepared. Uh, and, and so when the call comes, you know, we have it ready to go. Those practice meetings, just the importance of it is to um, go over the film from the day's practice and see where we made mistakes and where we need to. Uh, to get better on each side. Uh, Our two head up uh, people right now are who? The center, all right, and, and the, the split tackle. See from the, the camera view what you're doing, what you're doing wrong. If you do it right, you do it right. But it's just fixing the mistakes that you do wrong, you can see yourself from another, another view. That's, that's but really, what we want to emphasize is exploding off the ball. That first step is critical. You have to put doubt in that guy's mind, and then I got to be ready to react depending on what my assignment has asked me to do. Armed with the knowledge that attention to little things now could lead to big things in just a few months, KSU players encounter their first contact of training camp. The flashes will emphasize focus and speed during early practices, and extra attention is paid to special teams. 
a key factor in KSU's late season surge in 2011. Get to the ball! Get to the ball, Norman! Get to the ball, Norman Wolf! I don't care about him! I'm not interested in him blocking you. Get to the ball! Come back! Um, practice is really where you learn the fundamentals of the game. You know, we have freshmen coming in who really haven't really been towards what we do. So when they come in, it's a big learning experience for all of us. And, you know, for the older guys, it's some, something that we need to, you know, look over. And, you know, it's a big part of uh, being successful. And that's training in order to play at a high level, right? You train at a high level, man, we'll play at a high level. There ain't no doubt my, I've been through the business enough. You train like you train today, 2% better tomorrow. That 2% will be everybody on every play getting to the ball. That'll be 2% better.